What are we doing today? Are we watching Hilda again? Ginger, where's Tweak? <laughs> Ginger's favorite show is Hilda. It's a danger. Because, uh, <laughs> she really loves Twig. And she pays a lot of attention to him. Oh, this is Aaliyah. This is my other puppy. Hello. <laughs> and my third puppy. Sorry for that box. I don't know what's there. It's on the floor. Can't really focus on her. She's 15. But this is Aaliyah and Ginger. And we're watching Hilda. I know that <laughs> my apartment's a mess. Don't judge me. Um, I have to go to a rheumatologist and my joints really hurt. But uh, this is what we're doing so far today. Watching Hilda. And sunbathing, right? Yeah. Welcome back to the lesbian wall. Hey guys, long time no see. I had started another vlog, but I kind of scrapped it after my TikTok kind of went viral. Uh, today's January 7th, 2021. Just crazy. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on <laughs> with our government again. Um, I I'm terrified. I am posting this so I can look back on it. Um, at some point, but I'm just sick of this alt-right shit. Like, I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I just want to, like, watch animated things and review them. <laughs> um, I feel scared, but slightly optimistic because we won the Senate and the House and the presidency, but it just goes to show, like, how deep white supremacy is, and I know a lot of people watching this probably won't, like, that I say that, but it's true. Um, because this isn't white privilege, I don't know what to tell you. Um, because if, like, me, when I went to a BLM protest, had done what they did, I wouldn't have been shot like a black person, probably. But I would have been arrested. They were allowed to just walk out when they planted two bombs. I don't know what the hell's going on. And the fact that I have to go to work today and pretend like nothing's going on while I'm also in an enormous amount of pain is just fucking crazy to me. So let me know if you guys are safe, especially if you're in DC, please try and stay safe. Um, this will be going up a couple weeks after, but still, um, I, I wouldn't put it past them to like try something else to after this, you know? Like I just, I don't know what the fuck is up, but. Stay safe, guys, and hopefully it will be January 20th very soon. 13 days, guys. We got it. 13 days. Jesus. Um, I was going to film some TikToks today, but I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please ignore Hilda going on in the background. I got this really cute planner. I actually really like it. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I got it at TJ Maxx, so it was really cheap. There's all these cute stickers. Look what's up with that? I like them. I The problem with sticker sheets is that I always want to just save the sticker sheet and I don't want to use stickers. That's why I don't buy stickers. Anyway, um, I thought this was like really cute. It has like this nice like contact section. It just has my rheumatologist, please ignore it. And it has like, you know, your contact info, this kind of stuff. I just feel like this is like really nice. It's like different than what I'm used to because it's like has this month and then you put your goals and I already hit my goals which was like four videos for this month I already have I think three out now so almost at the goal um, stuff to like read and learn and watch and stuff and then I for quotes I put a Hayao Miyazaki quote I don't know if I could focus in on that um, but it says producing an animation series merely to fill time slots in the broadcast schedule is like generating cultural pollution. And I agree with that. And then it has an even more to-do list and stuff. And this is where I have like my video ideas and my notes and stuff. And then I have a filming schedule now along with like therapy and doctor's appointments and stuff. And then it goes to weekly, which is super cool. And it has like a, I'm grateful for and like self-care section. And that has like a little mood meter and like a it won't focus but um and then like a water chart it's really cool and i really am digging it so far um and then at the end of the month it has a monthly review section you rate the month out of stars and ginger stop growling honey she's upset about the neighbors they're kind of rude um but yeah you say what you're feeling grateful for and a whole bunch of other stuff and it's really cool i really like this so 
if you like have a TJ Maxx near you or a Home Goods or something, you should look for this one. I really like this one. They had other prints, but lemon is like one of my favorite flavors and foods like lemon ice cream, lemon yogurt, lemon cake. I just love lemons, but it's very cute and very affordable. I think it was like $9.99, so keep a lookout for that. Hello, it is 8.45 uh, on January 9th, and I didn't film yesterday. We're going to talk about it, because <laughs> it was not fun. I'm going to do my makeup down by my couch is where I do my makeup, so sorry for the not fun <laughs> background, but uh... This is what we're doing for my vlog. It's my vlog and I do what I want. Enjoy the dog butts that are randomly going to appear. <laughs> okay, me without my glasses. Not a fun sight. And uh, me with needing yet another root touch up. Super fun. <laughs> okay, I always gotta start with skincare first and foremost. Um, so I got like not decent news yesterday. I went to my regular doctor and um, like, the good news is, is that even though it's an autoimmune thing, I'm not more likely to uh, get COVID or anything, at least not until I see the rheumatologist um, in April. So, that's good news. I don't have to be, like, overly cautious. I put my hair up because I got sick of it, and who cares what I look like on the internet, honestly, at this point. It's 2021, my dude. There was an insurrection, like, literally two days ago why do I care if you hear random drinking throughout this it's because two out of three of my dogs drink constantly and before you say there's anything wrong with them there's nothing wrong with them <laughs> they've been to the vet recently they have my old dog especially has blood tests all the time they're fine yeah so the medication they had put me on because I kept calling because I was in horrible pain and I wanted more prednisone they won't put me back on prednisone which is kind of bullshit at this point point. and um so the new one they gave me made me incredibly makes me incredibly nauseous so we talked about it yesterday and uh we moved me to a new one and I went to CVS and they said that my insurance denied it which I am on like the governmental, not Medicaid, but like the, the Obamacare basically. And I've never had this happen before. So I was really confused, <laughs> naturally. My mirror's here, that's why I'm looking over there. Hi Daisy. Um, yeah, uh, I was very confused. So I've never had that happen before. So I called my doctor and they said they'd send the proper authorization or whatever. I went back to CVS and they still hadn't done it even though my doctor and then my doctor called and said that my insurance still denied it so that I should just keep taking what I'm on until like unless you know and like cut it down to whatever um, but I'm not gonna do that because it's already not doing anything it's already not giving me any pain relief and it's supposed to like build up in your system so like I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna cut it down. So I'm just kind of suffering how nauseous it made me. But um, I had a breakdown yesterday. <laughs> so I am like grabbing stuff um, because I'm in so much fucking pain. And I've been in so much fucking pain for the last, um, last 16 years. So since I was 11, I just turned 27. And uh, I'm fucking sick of it. So, you know, I wasn't going to go with pink lipstick today, but I think we're going to do that because I need like an ounce, just an ounce of serotonin. So, okay, uh, can I get my face ready? <sighs> so, I am in still in horrible screaming pain uh, in all my joints and um, my back particularly. And um, basically, I have to wait and see if this shit does anything, but I called the insurance last night because I've never had this happen with any insurance I've never had this happen and it's not like it's an opioid it's like an old person arthritic medication that I was supposed to be getting approved for and I called and she took a really long time which is fine but she was also I feel like just purposely unhelpful like I asked clarifying questions and she wouldn't answer them like she'd keep 
going back to the same thing where I would be like, okay, but like, why is this specific medication not being approved by you? And she was literally like, well, just some need extra authorization by a doctor. And I'm like, yes, I know. I called my doctor and asked them to do that. They said they did that. And then you still denied it. And she just would say the same thing. She would just circle back around and be like, they need to get it authorized. I'm like, it is authorized. Also, the fact that it needs to be authorized a second time is ridiculous because like, isn't the doctor prescribing the medication the authorization? I don't, I don't fucking understand. I just don't, I don't. And it's driving me up a tree, honestly. Uh, and I was in a lot of pain and I was in the CVS parking lot and I'm not gonna lie to you. I was really rude to her. I was really, really rude to her because I was really angry and I'm really sick of being in pain, you know? And I feel really bad. I, I try really hard not to be rude to people, especially like customer servicey people. Like I understand that it's not her fault, you know? Like I can like, my dog's just chewing something. I can like understand that she doesn't have direct control, you know, but like you can at least give me an answer, right? Like you can at least fucking tell me why you're being obtuse on purpose. <laughs> like I'm asking you very specific follow-up questions so I can try and fix it and you're being purposefully stupid like I just I don't I don't understand it and like I, j I lost my shit a little bit I didn't yell I'm not one of those people but I am one of those people that goes like fine <laughs> you know I'm like uh, I know this isn't your fault but what the fuck like I literally was like okay so you're telling me <laughs> like I literally said this I was like you're telling me that you guys don't want to approve this arthritis medication. You won't tell me why. Not directly. Um, and you're willing to just let me suffer in pain at home for the next three to four days because this is a Friday. This is a Friday night and my doctor won't be back until Monday morning. Um, and might not see it until after that because let's be real, everyone's really busy with COVID. You're willing to just let me suffer <laughs> for three days. The insurance that I pay money for. And she was basically like, she just kept repeating herself. And I know that's what people do when they don't know what to say, but like, I am a person who's clearly in pain and who's clearly irritated that like, you don't care and that you're just like telling me the same thing. Like, if it's too expensive, which a lot of insurances, they do that when it's too expensive. Just tell me that. Just tell me that and then tell me how to fix it. Like that's all I was asking for, you know? Like I don't think people understand the level of pain I'm in right now. Like I live on the third floor. I'm not really able to work as much as I want to. That's why I'm doing YouTube a lot is because like I have to focus on something that's not horrible pain. So like can we maybe do something for me? Like I have to wait three months for the rheumatologist even though my doctor wanted me to see them immediately because of COVID, that's the only availability. Like, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, yeah, so. <sighs> Fuck Obamacare. Fuck the United States. I'm so tired of this. Like it should literally be, you go into the doctor for free because healthcare is a human right. The doctor says what you need and then you go into the pharmacy and they give it to you for free like that's how it should be you shouldn't even have to go to a pharmacy you should just be like hey I need this and they should be like dope here you go here you go I have all the drugs right here like what the fuck is this country honestly I don't I don't understand it so anyway I'm in horrible pain 
I know I keep saying that, but it's true. I've <laughs> never noticed how wacky that looks because I've never filmed myself doing this. Uh, don't worry, it will not stay this way. Um, and like, I have to work this weekend a little bit, not too much thankfully, but like, I have a car payment, I have all this stuff, like, I don't know how I'm going to pay for it yet because like, I'm in a lot of pain, I can't do like, extra Instacart like I usually do, you know, like, just kind of freaking out about it a little bit. I haven't felt like making TikToks, so I just haven't, which is gonna like kill my engagement. I know I sound like a real, <laughs> real YouTuber, but like, I'm honestly really surprised by how well like my YouTube channel is suddenly doing and like my TikToks are suddenly doing and it's like great. And I'm like, this could be a career option if I want it to be, but at the same time, like, I don't feel well enough to keep it up, you know? I'm just setting this, not that this is a tutorial, it's not, uh, but if anyone's curious. I use a sponge because I feel like it keeps the most coverage. Am I a beauty YouTuber now? Why not? I make terrible faces. <laughs> I can tell you what cheap products are good <laughs> or what products I got from TJ Fox. Like, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, Alright, let's get started on this eye look, huh? This is looking real crazy. Have I washed my brushes in forever? No. Am I just using color switch again? You be the judge based on the sounds. So the plan for today is, since it's almost nine, um, I think. It doesn't really usually take me very long to do my makeup. Yeah, it's almost nine. But I'm talking to you, so it's taking longer. Uh, why do I keep pausing? Uh, the plan is to try and pre-film at least one video because my channel is doing so well. And then when I get home, sorry, that's my dogs. Dogs like to move around. Um, then I can edit it. For tomorrow and then I have two easier video ideas for the rest of the week. I'm trying to upload two to three times a week because it seems like it's working. I almost have 30 subscribers which is crazy. And I know that's not like a big number but the speed that it's happening at is insane. And I'm getting almost 200 views on most of my videos so I know that I just need to keep it up you know and like this does not look good on camera but it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I basically do the same five eye looks every day, so don't mind me. Do I have 7,000 eyeshadow palettes? Yes. Do I use all of them? No. So I really need to declutter a bunch of them and send them to like, there's a charity called Project Beauty Share. I found out by like Taylor Wynn on YouTube. I really need to like go through more, even more of it. I have like a ton set aside, but I need to go through even more because let's be real. I use like the same four palettes, but I have like probably in the teens worth of eyeshadow palettes and there's no fucking reason for it. You know, like I don't, I don't use it. So it's just kind of a waste, you know? I think next time I'm just gonna like build a custom palette from Colourpop or something uh, and buy like some neon pink and some uh, <laughs> some browns for when I'm feeling boring like today and that's it, you know? Um, probably gonna have to use my finger. But yeah, the plan is to work on some video stuff today, go to work, um, go pick up Daisy some more food at Petco, um, maybe pick up an Instacart if I'm feeling physically able, which it doesn't seem super likely today, but we're going to try it anyway <laughs> and um, see how that goes. If not, it's fine, and then, God damn it. Uh, then I have homework to do, so hopefully I can get through that. I have 
what is it this time? What is this fucking class? I have, this is the last class until I begin 3D animation classes. So I just want it to end, you know, like I'm so sick of this. Um, it's, I think it's desktop publishing, but what that really means is it's just an intro level to InDesign, which I already know a little bit about, but like how many intros to InDesign can I possibly have? You know, like it's just infuriating because <laughs> I feel like I've taken intros to like InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop seven billion times. But of course it's right when my desktop decided, what if we broke? <laughs> So I have to like reset it, but Microsoft is stupid. I was also snippy with this customer service lady, but because it was so stupid, uh, she was like, no, you need a second Windows to reset your Windows. And I was like, on what planet do people have that kind of money, bitch? Like I don't, but my wife has an old Toshiba, so I'm just gonna try and buy a charger for that thankfully like nothing is due because this is the first week like I just have to like reply to the discussion board and then do some kind of journal but there's gonna be some stuff next week so we do gotta get it fixed I just want to animate 3d stuff but it's actually probably for the best that I have this class first because my computer decided to take a shit on me so um also for that one person on TikTok who commented on my eyebrows, this is the only thing I do to my eyebrows. I keep my eyebrows like really natural. So you just hate my actual eyebrows. You don't hate how I do my eyebrows, you just hate my actual eyebrows. Like I am very light handed and I just kind of like fill them in like I'm not like crazy and then I just like brush them up. Look at me a beauty guru. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. Um, I have learned to do my makeup basically exactly the way I want it though, so fuck you guys. <laughs> I don't think you guys care. My YouTube subscribers are super nice to me. People on TikTok are assholes. Sorry, go smile. With the blush on. You know, like you do. Like a clown. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry it up. I do like the over blushed TikTok look, but I always super mega tone it down because this would be insane. Um, looks absolutely batshit on camera, which is hilarious because it's looking like more and more natural to me, you know? Okay, yeah, that's better. You can see it now. <laughs> I'm not trying to look like a crazy person on camera today. I mean, if you like a ton of blush, I'm not judging you. I am jealous of your confidence because I am overly concerned <laughs> about people commenting on my appearance because I was bullied in middle school, you know, like you do. That's what happens when you have a big nose. <laughs> but. Also, when you like cartoons and you don't care about boys because you're a lesbian and you like comfy sweaters and sweatpants and you don't feel like wearing what was popular in the early 2000s, you know? <laughs> Just like, I feel like something adjacent to Uggs. I feel like that's probably not exactly true, but it <laughs> kind of loves an apple. <laughs> yeah. Um, not doing great, but... I'm still trying anyway, yeah. Uh, I think it's okay that I'm not doing great because like, right now everything's insane. Like my country is insane, it's been insane for a hot minute, um, my life feels insane, because it turns out I probably have a chronic immune inflammatory thing that's super fun, you know, and um, my phone likes to bother me. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a lot, you know. Well, my battery's gonna die soon, so let's finish the makeup look real quick. If you don't smell like coconut, who are you? <laughs> hey, real quick. 
I hate that I like this Too Faced lipstick, but like, I like to use up all my makeup and to be fair, I didn't buy it from Too Faced, I bought it from TJ Maxx, so. Too Faced probably got barely anything from this, let's be real. Does the pink go with this? You decide. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing what I feel like doing. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> whip the mop out. It's not as curly as I would like, but I do have to wash it today, so that's probably why. Um, glasses. And then I'll be ready to film in a hot minute and uh, change the battery. I have like three, which is good, but uh, I don't know if you guys will like vlogs, but um, <laughs> I'm going to be watching lots of animated stuff soon, hopefully, to give some more reviews and stuff, but uh, I'm going to go watch Rudolph's Shiny New Year. You guys are going to see this like a week or so after that's out, so I'll see you guys in a little bit to see what I do next. Who knows? It is Tuesday. January 12th. I didn't film because both of my computers decided to take a shit and die. So the Rudolph Shiny New Year video that I had completely edited is gone. <laughs> gone. Uh, and I can't do anything until I fix them. I'm fixing one of my wife's computers because that's probably the easiest. It just needs a new battery. I'm not surprised that my Mac died because like I bought it literally 10 years ago. So that makes sense to me, but like my desktop just needs like a really good reset, but you need like a second computer, which is terrible design choice. What the fuck? Like I called them and they said, well, the only way to reset yours is that way. So we have her old Toshiba. I'm going to download Windows onto like my external hard drive and try it that way, but like fuck windows. I think I'm just gonna save up to buy a new Mac hopefully but I have to fix at least one of these computers because I have homework due on Thursday <laughs> so the battery should be in today so I can at least you know log in and do the discussion board for Thursday but fuck my life honestly <sighs> so what am I gonna do today okay I'm gonna try and film one of the other videos I had planned for this week and pray, pray that not only I have enough space on this memory card, but that I can get one of these fucking computers fixed so I can work on editing them. Wish me luck, guys. Please ignore the mess as always. I'm actually in the middle of cleaning, but uh, I'm about to wrap up the vlog. I had to buy a new MacBook. Um, so I told you my computers decided to die and what I did was I bought a recovery disc on Amazon for that one over there, but it wasn't going to come in on time for my homework. So I was basically screwed. So I took the government check and this lady was selling this brand new 2020 MacBook Pro, nothing wrong with it, for like $600, which I don't know if you guys know how good of a deal that is. That's an amazing seal and I'm thrilled. but. I have to get this one back up and running. The disc just came in today, so that's why I'm doing that. Because, please ignore this mess, I gotta clean everything in the living room. But, um, I ignore the rustling. It's one of my dogs playing with a new toy. Um, I didn't know, because I've never used 3DS Max, that 3DS Max requires Windows, which isn't a problem if I get this fixed. Like, they don't make it for Mac, they only make it for Windows, but it's not a problem for this semester because I'm doing InDesign, that annoying class I told you about, I'm not thrilled about, but, um, so I'm doing that on my Mac, but I need to get this up and running before next semester so that I can use 3DS Max, or I'm not going to be able to take the class, and that would be incredibly frustrating, so. It's not, like, perfect, but I wanted to show you guys, um, the assignment I did for InDesign. I am not a graphic designer, but we had to do, like, a calendar based on like a famous designer and I had a lot of fun with it. It's not like a conventional calendar by any means but she was the designer I liked the best and I'm pretty proud of how it came out actually. Um, I like it <laughs> for the second week assignment. I think it's pretty good for not knowing a ton about InDesign but yeah I'm super happy with this computer 
it's it's just wonderful. I downloaded basically everything I need for it for right now, but yeah, would highly recommend this computer. Too bad not everyone can get it for such a good price. There's some stickers on it, but I don't care. They're pretty cute, and I just had to wipe it and start again, so pretty happy about that. I'm going to end the vlog in a second, puppies. Do you have anything you want to say to the camera? <laughs> Wrecking a toy. <laughs> We're all just <laughs> chilling on the floor with some fights, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. Next time you guys should see me actually filming stuff. I just have been having the worst computer luck of all time. So wish me luck rebooting that Windows. I've been struggling with it for the last like two weeks and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!